Good morning, mathematicians. I hope you're having a great day so far. We are about to have a fantastic time on Rise and Shine and learn more about rounding numbers. Oops, we'll blame that one on Frisbee. Do you know what the secret is to rounding numbers correctly? It's about understanding what to do when you cross the halfway point. Have you ever noticed how important the halfway point is in sports? I played basketball when I was a kid, and I knew that once you got to half court, your foot better not cross back over the line. You have to keep dribbling the ball forward. Well, guess what? It's the same with rounding numbers. Once you get to the halfway point, you better keep going and round up. Let's practice together. I'm gonna need my chalkboard. Chalkboard, chalkboard. Awesome. Look at the number 4,082. We have four thousands, no hundreds, eight tens, and two ones that combine to make up this number. And we could round to any of these places, but we're gonna round to the tens place. So let's focus on the number in the tens place, which is an eight. Our number is between 4,080 and 4,090. Now, imagine a basketball court with a half court line. If you have that basketball at 4,082, have you crossed the half court line? No, you're closer to 4,080 than 4,090, so you need to round down. I think the number line visual is super helpful for rounding. But remember, we have a rounding rhyme that can help too. The rhyme goes like this. Find your place, look next door. Four or less, let it rest. Five or more, let it soar. The rhyme tells us to find our place that we want to round to. So in this case, that was the tens place. Then we look next door. So for our number, that would be the ones place. Is the number in our ones place four or less? It's a two, yes. So we let it rest and we round down to 4,080. Okay, let's look at a larger number. Here we have 5,376 and we want to round to the hundreds place. We have three hundreds in our number. Now, 5,376 is between 5,300 and 5,400. So let's look at those numbers on our basketball court. Our number line shows us the distance between 5,300 and 5,400, and it increases by tens. If we placed our basketball at about 5,376, would it be closer to 5,300 or 5,400? Have you crossed the half court line? Yes, so we are rounding up. Mathematicians, I hope you had fun with me on Rise and Shine learning about rounding. You know what sounds fun? A game of basketball with the other teachers. Here I go, wish me luck. Bye.